All right, break, break. It is uh, Sunday, uh, 10, September, 643 local, 1143 Zulu. Uh, TLR, first look, going to go ahead and uh, pull up our settings here and just go to general and make sure that our display is set to uh, be full bright and also going to make sure that uh, we're set to uh, never auto lock so we can monitor the phone throughout the flight. That's all good. We're going to go ahead and uh, turn off the... Uh, Wi-Fi mode, we're going to leave uh, Bluetooth on for now, and we're going to have our data on, and that's just for TLAR, we'll reconfigure for AOA work in just a little bit. Okay, in TLAR, let's see here, wrong one, going up, we've already got our airplane set, we've got our runway set, uh, we're in the automatic mode, we're monitoring KVPS, it's information Yankee right now. Uh, showing basically a four-knot uh, headwind component. Uh, winds are out of the northwest right at the moment. Big sky mode with our emergency selected, showing a predictive turn back altitude of 783. Seems a little bit high for flaps 20 takeoff, uh, but we'll just go ahead and uh, monitor that. What we're going to do next is we're just going to set up screen recording, and we're going to turn that on now. Unfortunately, I don't have a mount. Okay, so we're just going to have to live with it the way it is for this sorting. So let's... Uh, Turn that on. Screen recording is on. Three, two, one. Mark. Okay, we are screen recording. Showing that. And we're going to leave it up in the emergency mode for monitoring during takeoff. We'll do a uh, standing start takeoff, and uh, we'll get a data point at the beginning of the takeoff roll. All right, run them up. Mixture's rich. Power's coming up. All right, good, run them up. Loose pump is on. Transponder is set for takeoff. Flaps 20 is set. And I am simply out of room in the cockpit. So I'm still trying to figure out how to hardwire the phone in. So for this sortie, it's going to be sitting strapped onto my left knee. Flaps 20 selected. Before takeoff checklist is complete. All right, time now, 11.46.18 Zulu. Outside air temperature, 21 degrees centigrade. Let's uh, cross-check, make sure TLR is set. Just realized I may have pooched that up, and I did. All right, 21 degrees centigrade set, big sky, emergency predictive altitude 788, 788 feet MSL. We're going to just taxi over here, and we'll get a uh, we'll get a hard data mark, and we'll be standing stop for takeoff, and then we're going to be watching performance during the takeoff roll. All right, satellite checks good. There we go. Three, two, a one. Daddy Mark. Welcome to RV 7 Bravo on me, a departing runway 36 left, northbound, Ruckle. All right, beginning the takeoff roll, standard throttle application. And mill power. So about five to six seconds for mill power. AOA tone checks good. On speed. On speed condition, on speed climb. Flaps are retracted, transitioning. All right, there's a uh, VY climb. And let's see here. Threshold crossing height minus 27, minus 46. Very nice. I like that. Okay. And interesting. Wow, is that cool. All right. Still maintaining a VY condition. 71 feet. Whoa, this is definitely high. All right, boom, right here says I can turn back. I perceive that to be high, but nevertheless, we're going to give it a shot next time. All right, switching to Eglin. Morning, Eglin, November 147, Bravo Romeo, Airborne, Ruckel, Yankee. Very cool, dude. Very cool. Bravo Romeo, Eglin, approach good. Roger that. Request the corridor northbound flight test uh, for about an hour. will be RTB, Ruckel, RV4. Okay, what's your call, sign again? November 1, 4, 7, Bravo, Romeo.